Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know if I... Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new vlog We are currently in Dubai We're here for a quick little work trip We're here for just under a week It's been pretty busy and we've been on the go pretty much since we touched down But now for the next few days it's going to be a little bit more chilled So I am really excited because I want to also enjoy a little bit of the sunshine and the weather here And just like kind of have it be a little mini vacation And it's been nice to just kind of like switch up our routine from being at home and like the breakfast buffet has been amazing here i'm so excited about that every single morning it's like the best thing ever i think i'm going to show that to you guys tomorrow morning and then yeah we've been laying by the pool as well getting a little sun enjoying the room a lot as well we're staying at the ritz on the palm i think it's a relatively new hotel so everything is like really modern and clean and really nice like again it's not a beach hotel but they do have a nice pool area and all of the interiors are really really pretty so we've really been enjoying that and also they've got a gym here so that's actually where i'm gonna go right now i've got my gym outfit on <laughs> and the bump okay this is my outfit for the gym i've got my black leggings from fabletics on really comfortable they're nice and high-waisted and they've got a good stretch to them so they feel really good over the bump they've also got little pockets on the side my sneakers are from nike this top is from ASOS and then my sports bra is old from Lululemon. Also whilst we're here, I'll just give you guys a quick little room tour. So we've got this nice big mirror as you walk in through the room. And then this is what you see when you come in. Here we've got our wardrobe, we've got my dresses and things hanging in here. This is all of my stuff. And then Mo. Here we've got this cute little kind of getting ready area. I've put my jacket here because I'm actually going to wear this down to the gym because it's a little bit cold in there. And then here is the bathroom and this is so nice. This is definitely one of my favorite parts of this hotel room. Just it's so nice and clean and white and bright. <laughs> I love the marble got a bathtub and the bathroom actually looks out into the bedroom there is a roll down shade that you can put down if you want some privacy and that is on both sides this is the bathroom shower this has been really nice as well i love the marble it's so so pretty back into the room we've got the bed a little lounging area tv and then there is my laptop where I've been working on getting my new video up. And then this is the view. Really, really nice. We're on the 16th floor, so we've got quite an epic view here. Okay, I've just got into the gym. This is what it looks like. Nice big open space. And yesterday it was completely empty as well, so really nice to have all of this to myself some weights and the treadmill so I'm actually going to walk on this for probably like half an hour or so
fresh and clean from the gym. I've showered, washed my hair, and I'm now ready for dinner. Just put on my dress. I'm wearing this really pretty red floral printed one from Massimo Dutti. My sandals are from Valentino. I love this little cardigan from Mango. It's so nice to just throw on top of a dress if it's cold in a restaurant. Bag is from Chanel and jewelry is Misoma. are so big you literally never know where you're going we need like a, a, a GP, like a google maps you need a gps google, google, maps, for google maps for the mall especially and they have like the they have like machines or like where you click on and you write where you want to go and it shows you but even then you still miss it Good morning guys, it is the next day. I'm about to do my skincare routine and I thought I would share with you guys what I've been doing lately. I also really love this bathroom, it's so pretty. I love doing my routine in here. I'm just gonna clip my hair back for this first portion. Okay, I'm gonna start out with our cleanser. This is our Purify and Comfort Face Cleanser. This is great for all skin types and it's so beautiful as well. It's moonstone infused. It just feels so luxurious and fun to use as well. So I'm just going to take this in circular motions all over my skin. This is really deeply clarifying for the skin, but it's also not over drying. It's actually based in aloe vera. So it's super hydrating on the skin and it's not going to over irritate or strip your skin, dry your skin out at all, but it's very deeply cleansing for the pores. So if you have acne prone skin or oily skin, this is especially amazing. It has a really nice like refreshing kind of spa fragrance, but there are no um, fragrances in here. It's all just from the natural ingredients. The next step is a vitamin C serum. This is the one I've been using recently. It's from the brand called Mada. It's called their number one serum. And this is both a vitamin C serum and also a hyaluronic acid serum as well. So it's really nice and moisturizing. And I believe this whole brand is created for moms, like for pregnancy. So all the ingredients are really gentle and there's nothing in there that is going to be harmful to you or your baby. And in general, I just really love the serum and the consistency. And I swear by a good vitamin C. It's something that I've used in my routine for years. I take it all over my skin, even on my lips and just like a little bit underneath my eyes. Vitamin C is an incredible antioxidant. It's also really great for preventing UVA and UVB damage. It's great for collagen production, just generally for brighter and more even toned skin. I always love to always kind of tap my skin like this when I apply my products. It just feels so good and it helps to increase blood flow and circulation to the skin, which is always good for providing more nutrients to all your cells. Okay, for moisturizer, I am so picky when it comes to moisturizers because my skin is very sensitive, it breaks out, and I need hydration and moisture, but if it's too oily or if it's too heavy or sticky on my skin, my skin just does not agree with it, and I either get like full-on breakouts or I will get these little under-the-skin bumps. But at the same time, it can't be so lightweight that it doesn't actually do anything on my face. because I want my skincare to work with my skin and provide nourishment during the day so I created this last year with our incredible team and it is my dream moisturizer super hydrating without being too heavy and feeling oily on your skin so it is oil free it's non comedogenic a completely clean ingredient list there are no fragrances no silicones and as you guys can probably imagine I have packed this with really good nourishing ingredients for the skin so there are five different types of hyaluronic acid in this Literally five different kinds of hyaluronic acid. So it's super hydrating. Hyaluronic acid is what helps to bind water and hydration to our skin. This is what it looks like, by the way. It also contains chamomile and vitamin E and niacinamide. And I made sure that we had it in this pump bottle so that all of the ingredients stay really fresh and hygienic inside. So you don't have to keep dipping your finger to get 
product. The packaging is also airtight so you get every single last drop of product. There's a bag inside so you can use up every single bit which was really important for me as well. So I'm going to take this on my skin and it is so nice and lightweight. It just feels like silk on your skin again it is oil free it's super lightweight but because of all of the nourishing ingredients it's actually so hydrating and i designed it so that you could still use your favorite serums or spf on top and it's not going to feel too heavy on your skin because i really don't like the feeling of when you feel like too many products on your face you feel like your skin can't breathe this is really nice and lightweight but still super super hydrating and also it's designed to be used for all of the year so whether it's summer or winter i've worn this in every season and it feels amazing on the skin and i always put the leftover on my hands on my nails and this is a very early preview so we're not launching this until like august or september but it is genuinely what i'm using so i thought i would share it with you guys and just give you like a very early little peek at this and then of course i will share with you guys once it is available it's a very unique formula there's nothing else like it like with all of our products that's really what i want to create are things that don't exist already and things that are specifically designed for people with sensitive acne prone just difficult and finicky skin so I think you guys are really gonna love this and then my last step is some SPF this is my favorite one right now it's from Murad it's the City Skin Age Defense SPF 50 this is a physical sunscreen which I think is really important just generally speaking but especially if you're pregnant as well they're just a little bit safer for your body and I also feel like physical SPFs are just a lot more gentle on acne prone and sensitive skin I feel like it doesn't break me out like chemical ones do but this is a really nice one because it just blends so effortlessly into the skin it also sits really nice under makeup as well and then I take a little bit more and just apply it to my neck and that is my skincare routine right now. I'm really loving these products. I'll make sure to have everything linked for you guys down below. We're now going to head down to breakfast, which I've been loving here. They've got a beautiful buffet. So I'll film some of that for you guys. And I've been loving it. Like it's like breakfast heaven. <laughs>
first dish arrived. Look at all that good stuff here. You like it? Look at this view. Looks beautiful. And the food looks pretty good too. Okay, I've gotten the sea bass with asparagus and Mo has the tartufo with tortilli, truffle. Tortilli tartufo. And it looks really good. I'm definitely gonna have some of that. Are you gonna have some of my sea bass? You wanna have some of my sea bass? No. <laughs> Book doesn't have. Okay, when it's the skin up like that, it doesn't look so appetizing, but we have to turn it over. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> okay, let's try it. Okay, and for dessert, we've gotten an apple pie with some ice cream. That looks so good. And this view is so pretty. Hello guys, we are back home and I thought before I wrap up this video I just went to the grocery store which is always one of my favorite things to do when we come back from a trip just get the fridge nice and restocked and I thought I would share with you guys what I got before I wrap up this video also in case you guys notice something different with my voice I actually got a little bit of a cold like a stuffy nose and sore throat when we were away thankfully it's not the virus I did get myself tested so I don't have that but I think it was from the AC I even mentioned I think at one part that it was really cold in the hotel especially in our room and then it was really really hot outside it was like 35 37 degrees so it was like a very big extreme temperature change from inside and outside and I think that just got me so it started with a little bit of a sore throat and then my nose got clogged and that went on for like two days or so and now this is like the remnants of it so hopefully by tomorrow I'm hoping that all of this like congestion will be gone okay here is a little overview of the things that I got at the grocery store so mostly got fresh things like fruits vegetables I'm pretty stocked up on all of our like pantry essentials like breads pastas sauces and things like that and I usually get those from a delivery service so that I don't have to go lots of times during the week and they're heavy so I just like to get fresh fruits and vegetables probably like two times per week and then I have everything else at home already so let's start over here I've got two bags of fresh organic spinach these are great for smoothies even just for reheating leftovers you can always throw in some spinach and it kind of just wilts nicely it goes with so many different things and doesn't have a very strong taste this is some fresh parsley I'm gonna make a veggie soup for tonight I'm really craving that so I've got fresh parsley for that I also got some potatoes here some onions lots of lemons garlic these are frozen wild blueberries again really great for smoothies or even just for putting on top of yogurts and things like that also got some fresh organic strawberries they've come back into season now and they're so delicious they smell amazing i love having these with some chocolates as a dessert or with some peanut butter in a yogurt so good some mandarins a couple of cucumbers some zucchinis broccoli lettuce two bunches of bananas some carrots i'm also going to put this in our veggie soup as well some apples love these as a snack during the day with some almond butter or peanut butter some cherry tomatoes some asparagus really easy to just steam up and they keep really well in the fridge as well for leftovers this is some plant-based yogurt and then I also got a little thing of Greek yogurt because I do like to just experiment a little bit with certain kinds of dairies in small amounts I do notice though if I eat too much of them my skin does not react well but just for a little bit of variety in my diet I do like to have this a couple of times per week and then I've got some tuna here a little bread just to have as a backup but I do have more in the freezer and that's it so lots of yummy fresh fruit and vegetables and I'm so excited to make some really healthy yummy recipes especially since I've been a little bit under the weather the last few days so that's really nice to just come home to have all of these really nice home-cooked meals so thank you guys so much for watching this video I really hope that you enjoyed as always make sure to check the description box down below for links to different things that I mentioned or talked about I always try to have as much information down there for you guys as I can think of I really hope that you guys enjoyed I hope that you're all having a beautiful day and I will see you in my next one Mwah. bye guys